One of the controversies in the early church that's still a controversy today sometimes is the question whether or not the Holy Spirit is God. We're discussing today on Made for Glory. Throughout her history, the church has always tried to understand what we have received in Revelation more and more so that we can teach clearly and truthfully what we have received from God. And particularly as the church encountered new languages, new cultures, went from just a Jewish culture to Greek and Roman cultures and then to the rest of the world, uh, new words started emerging, new concepts, new challenges as well. And it was in response to those challenges that the church sought to clarify what we mean when we say that God is Uh, one God and three divine persons, or that uh, God the Son became man, or that the Holy Spirit has been poured out for the life of the church. So when people ask questions about the Holy Spirit, sometimes we think about it almost like the force in Star Wars, just some sort of uh, nameless, uh, faceless energy that's out there. That's not what we mean when we mean the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit, we mean a person, just like the Father is a person, the Son is a person, that the Holy Spirit also is a person. And this third person of the Blessed Trinity is the love between the Father and the Son, this gift love between the Father and the Son that has now been poured out upon us. So the Holy Spirit has always existed. The Holy Spirit is God. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Each of the three persons in their own unique, distinct way, they participate entirely in the Godhead, in divinity. And that exchange of love, that great innermost secret that God has, is what we're invited to participate in. So when we talk about the Holy Spirit, we're not talking about the force, we're not talking about nameless energy or chi or anything like that. We're talking about God himself. God who is is poured into our lives, God who animates us, who frees us, who empowers us to become something new, to become holy. So today, uh, I invite you to, if you've never prayed to the Holy Spirit before, to maybe just make this very, very simple prayer, because this prayer, prayer is what changes us. And that prayer is this, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. Because wherever the Spirit of God comes, wherever the Holy Spirit enters in, he makes holy and he changes us and allows us to become who God has created us to be. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks to all of our sponsors, all of our sponsors on Patreon, and especially our sponsor, Glory and Shine. Glory and Shine is an awesome Catholic company that makes handcrafted products. I personally love their beard balm. All the products promote prayer, Marian devotion, and scripture studies. We want to thank them so much for their support, and also for all of you who've been supporting us on Patreon. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe all of these videos, and we'll see you next time.